Hi, it's Leanne from Newcastle Libraries. I hope everybody's doing very well. We're here today with another story for you. Today we're going to read Monsters, an Owner's Guide by Jonathan Emmett and Mark Oliver. Introduction. Congratulations on your purchase of a monstermatic toy, a multi-featured creature that will bring you hours of joy. This product is designed for use both indoors and outside. But before you use your monster, please take time to read this guide. The box contents. The box contains one owner's guide, two, one monstermatic head, three, one body, four, two robotic arms or tentacles instead, five, two feet or hooves, six, one battery, 200,000 volts, seven, one screwdriver, eight, one allen key, nine, assorted nuts and bolts. Assembling your monster. Bolt legs onto body as shown in figure A, screw in arms as figure B and tighten all the way. Fix head onto shoulders as figures C to E, open chest as figure F and insert battery. Identify your monster. Monstermatic monsters come in many different guises and their colourings may vary, as may their shapes and sizes. This guide applies to every type, but should you wish to know, please identify your monster with the diagram below. And if you like, you can pause the video here and you can see which one is your favourite. I think I like number 16 the best and he is called Mr Giggles. Switching your monster on. Your monster's power button is located on its back. Warning, on awakening your monster may attack. We suggest you push the button with a lengthy pole or mast. And if your monster does attack, then run off very fast. Using your monster. Your monster is pre-programmed and fully automated and will make its own decisions once its brain has activated. You may give it an instruction, for example, wash the dishes, but your monster may ignore you and just do as it wishes. Playing with pets. Your monster comes complete with a range of special features, including the ability to play with other creatures. Your monster will respond to almost any family pet and will only ever eat them if it sees them as a threat. Cleaning and care. Eventually, you may feel that your monster needs a clean. It may smell of rotten cabbage and its fur may lose its sheen. Do not try to bathe it. Do not shower or shampoo. Do not even think about it. You'll be sorry if you do. Do's and don'ts. Do keep your monster happy. Do encourage it to play. Do let it roam around your home. Do keep out of its way. Don't let it drive a vehicle or use a power tool. Don't let it play with fire. Don't take it into school. Safety information. This product is not suitable for use with A. Chimpanzees B. Orangutans C. Gorillas D. Or children under three. This product can be harmful E. If it rolls on you in bed F. If it thinks you are its breakfast. G. If it hits you on the head. Troubleshooting. If your monster eats your family pet, see earlier in guide, open hatch in monster's back and take pet from inside. If your monster's on the rampage and is ransacking your town, press and hold the power button until monster has shut down. Lifetime guarantee. We guarantee this monster will cause all kinds of trouble. 
will drive your parents crazy and reduce your home to rubble. And if it ever runs away, gets broken or gets lost, we'll replace it with a new one at no additional cost. Well, I think that monster definitely went on the rampage, didn't it? What a disaster. Do you think you would like a monster as a pet? I'm not sure I would. Right. I love that story. That was Monsters and Owner's Guide and it was published by Macmillan. So thank you to them for letting us read it. And we'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.